going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. We're starting off at Banjo's favorite place. How's it going, Banjo? Wait, I didn't know that was back there. What, okay, Jesus, what's, what's the history at? Well, Pool Jet's here. How are you feeling? Well, I hate this place. Isn't it the worst? This place sucks. I love this place. As it's soon so as you good. said Menards, this is my, I was, immediately not My dad loves this place, so it's like, as Mike long as... Me and Mike are on the same page. I, you are? Yeah. You like Menards? Yeah. Only because they sell chocolate but milk. Dude, they have dog toys, Wait, dog what? food. Yeah. They have chocolate milk? Yeah, so we might have to get some just to make up for this awful trip we're making. Well, here's the deal. Long story short, I have a horny camel at home and he has to be <laughs> quarantined. I wish I was joking with that statement, but I'm not. That is 100% a factual statement. I have a horny camel at home and we have to build my house. Can you I don't know if there's title? many people that can say that, but I swear to God, that's the truth right can now. You, can we put that in the title? I, I, I built my horny camel a wow. shed. I mean, that's essentially what we're doing. <laughs> Ralph's all horned up right now and we essentially have to quarantine him so he don't hurt and try to mount things that he shouldn't be mounting. Like, ban uh, like, like Banjo <laughs> and Pool Jet. You can't be doing that. So, but the problem is we've got two big barns, as you, not big, but you know, two bigger barns, and he's on one side. Well, the, the one barn isn't big enough for all the rest of the animals to stay in. So we need to move the barn that Ralph has over for the rest of the animals. So then the other animals have two big barns, which would be perfect, and then build him his own house, basically designed fit for a camel. And so that's what we're doing. My dad's already here, Papa Beefcake's here. I don't know where he parked. Dude, I, he, he's in aisle 41. He, I was in here waiting for him. I'm like, man, he's, you know, he's usually on time. You know, we are, we're all used pretty much on time. And he's like, I'm sitting here going, yeah, I don't see him. Maybe he's running a little late. He texts me in aisle 41. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'll go inside. Papa Beefcake went ahead and designed some stuff for us last night. And basically, we got to design a house for a camel. It's going to be similar to the ones we already have. Smaller, you know, he don't need a 20-footer, um, but taller. He's going to need something that's like eight feet. His hump's like... I want to say it's humped at like six and a half feet, maybe seven-ish, when I kind of like walked over there and did one of these things. So anyways, we're building him a house. We're going to get some materials, gather it up. Beefcake Construction LLC is building a horny camel house today. So stay tuned. Aisle 41. Yeah, this is not up. Where would you park? By the lumber yard? See, I knew it. I called uh, it. Yeah, because you, you knew we were going to the lumber yard. I said, he's not, he's, How's it going? he's not late. I was I like, there's no way he's late. I'm sitting here, we're like eating and he's like, I'm in aisle 41. I was like, I knew it. I knew he was. I knew we didn't beat him here. There's no way. Oh, he's already, what's going on here? Well, oh, this is, this. I, I told him the, the drain idea. Oh, yeah. I thought threaded PVC would be the deal. Oh, that's, oh yeah, I like this. So we can, I can put this on it. That's put a cap sweet. In it. Cause I figured if it's frozen, like a little cap might be tight, but that yeah. you can get a wrench oh, on yeah, that if you yeah, need yeah, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? We tried to drain the uh, water troughs the other day, and Banjo and I need to get go to the gym. I think yeah. that was tough. So we're we're making drains, make it a little bit easier. So we'll probably need thicker ones for the other barns, though. We'll put a uh, support across there so they can rest on it. So you're not screwing to this, you're screwing to the ones that run this way. So these are running across here. These are flat, like two yep. by fours, I believe. Yeah. Full on screws. All right, sounds good. Stay tuned. Oh, it's too early for that shit. Oh. Show him that. What's going on here? Look this what is what happens, happens when hand. you play with the no, the sheet metal. Will this work or no? Which I'm one? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Back to the house. What? Huh? Uh, huh? What are you laughing about? Yeah. You making fun of me? Well, we made it. Look at that. Lumber. We got lots of it. We were thinking 1500 bucks, I think, for everything. I mean, not the cheapest. Could have, we could have nah, probably had cheap. But uh, either way, 1500 bucks with today's lumber prices, I mean, what are you going to do about it? So some of it's treated, some of it's not treated. We just kind of picked and choose what we thought would potentially get water on it and rot and what wouldn't. I'm fine with trying to winch it. I mean, I gotta, we, we got to add some excitement like, in today's sides, video. You got to imagine, you only have like six inches to like nailing everything you're gonna be like yeah crawling get, crawling uh, around it we're gonna have to whatever. do yeah too many ladders you're right you're right so i think what we'll do is plan on we'll build it on the ground like we did the deer blind and then we'll just have to winch it up on the trailer which again that'll just add some excitement we did get a what was that what's that thing called it's not a winch but it pulls from both sides it's like a, you ever seen one of them things what? I have no clue what you're talking So like you could you sides. could like hook up it to one car and one car and it hit a button and it'll like pull them together. It's That's like a it's like a winch, like a but it goes it's double. Like a double. Yeah, it's like a double. Seen that. Yeah, we got one of them guys. So we can hook it up to the edge of the trailer and then hook it up to the the enclosure and we should uh, it'll pull it'll yeah. it'll, it'll pull it together pull it essentially together. since there's not a winch. Yeah, look at yeah, one of these things. What do you call that thing, Mike? I don't know what what, boy. what do they call it's it? Bad boy. It's a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We haven't used it. We bought it. I was like, we should probably use it for something. It's a hoist. Oh yeah, that's it. 
ceiling. Uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Or you can do oh, the, no, that one doesn't do. Okay, never mind. So that don't come out. Never mind. Yeah. That is obviously the thing of something but else. There are ones uh, that do that, but that's just, that's just a winch, essentially. I was going to say, like, yeah. how would it's that like work? It's like a portable winch. Yeah. yeah. That's a I've seen the ones that it'll, like, it goes both, both ways and it'll pull it in, but that just that's does one. Nice. So, yeah, you can hang it from the ceiling and, and hoist some yeah, stuff up. So do it for deer. Yeah, that's. Isn't that what we got it for? Fancy deer hanger, yeah. Yeah, we got it for deer. But we never, you never, we never ended up using it. We didn't need it. But, anyways, I think we'll try it. We'll try to winch it up on the trailer again, and that'll just add a little, a little spice to today's video. So we got plenty of, uh, plenty of material. Hopefully, we're getting the thinking. skids right now. We're bringing those up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we probably need to go get the skids. So we'll get. And those came from the cat. I'm telling you, we've been you. So from the time you left, you the time you used a lot of that. Extra we're wood. still going through yeah. the wood, Remember but we've was used a lot under that wood under there. Yeah, yeah that's that's gone. About that. We've built, uh, we've built so many. We built barn doors. We built deer blinds. We built giant doors for the other place. Oh, we've the mic. Oh, that's it. That's it. Pop beefcakes. He knows how to use up some wood. Essentially, he's making up, making some stuff. So this will be a good one, even though this is not, you know, used material it still should be a, a fairly simple build it's gonna be similar to the deer blind taller wider and made from tin so that way it can't it won't rot essentially tin should and it's it should be a little bit lighter that way as well since these are supposed to be somewhat portable we need to be able to move them to like scoop out all the hay and the poop and then reload it so they do need to be po somewhat portable with the, the skid loader similar to the other ones but a little bit smaller so anyways we're gonna get all the materials kind of laid out drawn up and get to build and stay tuned We got the stick pieces figured out. We got the four. That guy's not. That. Yeah, that. <laughs> look at that. Look good. Look, look at that guy. So you straighten that up later. Once we put a board across the two, that's exactly the same length as that. Then we should be all right. But we got eight feet on this side, and then seven and a half on this side, which will give you the pitch, so the snow and the rain go out the back. Um, so this would be essentially the front, and then we put that on six foot even. So it'd be four inches plus two inches, so six would be five and a half opening. Hay is going to be very tight, but it should hopefully work. It's going to be close though. So this should be, yeah, we'll put the door here yep. and then we'll board up that side. Yep. Yeah. Hey, we should be able to get the hay in there. Absolute worst case. We do the, like we did the good old days and just get square bales yeah. and go throw them in there. That's it takes awesome. 10 minutes. It's that's, 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 that's vintage. Right yeah. That's vintage. Uh, worst case we can do that. Uh, it's not like this is a huge barn. So what's now it's, what's phase two, we're putting something up there yeah, to square it up. Frame. Yeah. We're putting the raft, starting to build the rafters. Built header, rafters, fascia, top, rafter. Rafters. Pitch slow, man. You got it. Yeah, and then yeah, that's that's where you come in handy with the angles. See that right there? I yeah. Now I, you lost me there. Cut, cut I, some bird's mouse. No, the, the, excuse uh, me. Excuse no, 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 don't don't add anymore. Don't add anymore. Google what? it. Bird, bird's, bird's mouse. mouse. What's yeah, it look like? Like that? We notch it. You notch it. You notch this. They said we weren't doing it. I think Mike's making stuff up. Google it. <laughs> I challenge it. Anyways, fascia header. We're putting wood that direction. Stay tuned. Uh, well, you cut your board too short and you don't want to waste a board. You gotta just pull them together. You just grab a ratchet strap. Almost that there. One more, maybe two more. One more, one more. Okay, that's all you're getting. Yeah, that's flush. Sheesh, nothing to ratchet. Jeez. Watch out, guys. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> God, dang. Nothing to roll a ratchet strap can't fix. Well, we got the rafters up right now instead of we were gonna we've changed our plan nine times so far but we were gonna run studs like this and then we realized this is basically a po what we call it, post and beam yeah, like now what they call barn. that pole barn which is what we're sitting in right now where you run your posts 
and then they run basically the studs this way. It's actually how we built the cabin, now I think about mm -hmm. it. Put it the same, yeah. the same way. I think it just, ma it just makes more sense, mainly just because it worked for how we ended up cutting our wood. Uh, but so we're basically gonna run our studs this way. Yeah, it is, because then we framed our windows just like this. So yep. it's like a cabin. We can give Ralph a window. I think he'll like really? It. He would love he, it. He might like it. What is that? Part two. Oh! Making it bougie. We're, we're a big like multi-part guy. Make a deer blind, then dress it up. Make a, a camel need, house and dress it up. Does he need a flat screen too? He might, he might need the old Xbox. I think. He might be better at playing Roblox than me. Definitely, he's definitely better. You like so. that game? Yeah, it's all right. Well, we're gonna run uh, two over here, two over there, and then just two over there. We're not running two over here because that's Correct. the entrance. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six more. And then are we ready for, oh no, we need to put the underboard. And then I think we're ready for 10, so stay tuned. This is like a like you were in like sixth grade, you had a sleepover with your buddies. It's just a dream. Yeah. This is like whatever sleepover fantasy. Guy? That's you. No. Oh. <laughs> I feel like this is like so is this a struggle meal for adults then? Yeah. This is grab whatever's in your freezer and feed the beefcake construction LLC crew. So we got two different pizzas. We got meat uh, combo. It's got ham, probably not actually ham, sausage, pepperoni, and then just strictly pepperoni. And then I garnished it in pizza rolls. Anyways, we're gonna take a lunch break. So far it's looking good. We're getting looks like we're getting the eyeballs put in. Tins next. And uh, I think tins next. Yeah, the roofs. Yep. Roof slats are done, so I think we're ready for ready for some tin. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and eat and get the get the roof done, get the siding done, and hopefully I bet we can get it done today. Oh yeah. We're cool. oh yeah. We're fine. Stay tuned. Shoo! What do you think about lunch, man, Joe? Reminds yeah. you of middle school days? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It's, it'll, better, it'll hold it's, us better, it's better than starving. Well, um, we ended up getting everything tacked up and ready to go. Uh, now we've got OSHA approved over there. <laughs> yeah, we just like sitting up there like, I'm content, just pass me, pass me the sheets. So now we're gonna tin, oh, excuse you. You saw what happened to Buddy, you better be careful, all right? <laughs> well, we're gonna go ahead and put the tin on the roof first, make sure that's level. Uh, did we decide what we're doing? Are we starting in the middle and working our way out? No, we'll start from one side. How much do you know to cheat it? Let's, pull, let's put all four up. And, just and then just start shif shifting them around. And then we'll know. Okay, so well, is yeah, so four should cover it, but we bought five in case we need it. So once we get the roof done, we'll be good and then we'll do basically the siding and then we're done i mean that's pretty pretty darn easy and it's not even two o'clock banjo i we're gonna get this done before dark 100 percent. so anyways stay tuned Done 10 up. We're gonna try to get down there today before the sun goes down. You can see it's uh maybe an hour or so daylight left, but sheesh, looking good. We got everything tinned up. We put some this always be really firm this whole thing up. Like it really, really made a difference. The reason why I put it in here so Ralph and the ghost can't hit the tin and break the tin. So that was the main reason. And then this right here, that board is gonna be a temp to keep basically the skis from splitting apart. And then same thing here. This is gonna keep anything from going this way. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. I mean, we have it, it, the whole thing is studded and supported and you know, you can see the roof's all good to go, but what's going on? Then go on it. Uh, the tow, yeah, I mean, tow rope will work. Um, all right, well, we gotta find something to move it sucker with. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking oh. about? You have to sniff like, where, where are you going? You Give him a Ralph treat. Well, I know what you're doing. <laughs> Don't castrate me, castrate the camel. Alright, I'm gonna get back. 
Jake's just needs Jake's end just needs. There he goes. That's all we got. It'll be it'll be all right. Hey, remember when people were making fun of me for making the garage door so damn tall? Yeah, how's that going now? Yeah, who's laughing now, buddy? Yeah. Did you imagine you had a 12 foot garage door? Dude, I, everyone made fun of me when I put the yeah. suckers in and look at us now. What are these? 16s? 16s. <laughs> <laughs> They're close. Everyone's like, what are you storing there? A full size excavator? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's perfect because to unload it, the less we gotta, you know, yeah. mangle it and drag it. Hey, Ooh. we did all right. I ain't too worried about it. I think it'll be, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, this is operation. It's gonna be dark. That's what this operation. Hopefully, Jake's operation rubbing headlamps. Uh, he see everyone says he's vicious. He ain't vicious. You say that now. He he's a big teddy bear. He'll be all right. Well, Ruffy. so we gotta dismantle, basically take down a bunch of fence, which is just not ideal. I mean, the sun's okay. going down. Easy there, pal. Oh, well, he likes banjo. We're good. Oh, he'll be all right. But hey, banjo, you can hang out in the pen with him. But well, we gotta take out a bunch of T posts and fence there, wide enough for the barn. We need to take out T posts and fence there, wide enough for that barn. We need to hook the skiddle up to that barn and drag it into the other pen, button it all back up so the animals can't get over. And then we gotta get Ralph up in his little corner here so he doesn't kill us while we're moving around. Everyone's always saying Ralph's, he's a mean guy. He, he ain't mean. He seems like he's the same. No, he's fine. Everybody's dramatic. As long as you're just not llama, you'll be all right. Now Ralph is secured. The bag has been secured. He's, he's secured in there enough. Now, so now nothing can get into this pen, but I would say operation, get that barn over there. Priority. priority. I would say that's priority because once that's over there, then we got to convince all the other ants to go over there, rebutton that whole thing up, and then blow that fence out and back it in. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It's Fine. gonna be Jake. We bit off more than we can chew. You grab headlamps. I think we might need them. All right. Well, we need to drill some holes in that, chain it up, and get it yanked on over there. So stay tuned. Someone's someone's fired on wire job. Who wired it up? Someone wired Mike. it up. Mike. <laughs> Mike. We might just have to keep him on grain duty. All right, here I can get back. We didn't have a post to take out. Yeah, if that post wasn't there, you wouldn't be able to put Ralph over here and keep him from killing everything. <laughs> operation move the barn complete. Operation fix the fence almost complete. Operation move the animals over there, dismantle that fence, bring in the barn, get it situated, and release Ralph back in the wild. What's next? <laughs> Who's winning? You or the fence? Uh, we almost lost, but I think we won. Okay. I think, think you're good to pull in. Am I good? Yeah. All right. Hey, go to the right. Go to the right a little. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, go ahead and strap it. We'll see what happens. I've never run straps up with tension on it, but. Should we hook that onto it? Or no? Just let it. It's not going to go far if it slides. They ain't going to go nowhere. All right. 
Now, what's the fun in that? Can't, we can't always be safe. Oh, there's not even tension on that guy. He ain't going nowhere. Pulls, I can let it off. Because let's say it just starts sliding. When it catches there, it's, it could potentially, like, oh, see how it's not, we're not level? Yeah. yeah. The whole thing could slide that way. I got what if we, if we just run two chains yeah. and do it? I can at least catch it. And at yeah. that point, I don't know what else to do. Okay. But it's going to hit. Yeah. It's going to hit that ground. It's so Jake's going to have to pick it up off the ground. Down, but we gotta just still keep it from skating yeah. on the top of the trailer. What's Ralph doing? What? Ralph? Is it the time, pal? Red thing. Okay, go ahead and unload. <laughs> <laughs> get up there from here. Yeah. <laughs> you struggle, man? Yeah, how am I supposed to climb up? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Give him a yep, boost. Yep. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tighten her up a little bit. Hopefully this will do what we need it to do. So me and Jake are gonna have to talk to one another. As yeah. he goes, I gotta go. Yeah. And he can't pull. I mean, it should go pretty easy. He might be faster than me. Like that way. Hang on, hold up, hold, oh, whoa. There. Oh, we can oh, just push you're huge. it. Oh, you're huge, oh my God. Big. Look at your house, pal. He's, hey, easy. He, he, I'm telling you, he is on something. Hi, buddy. Hey, it's gonna be all Hi, right. buddy. Should I get you a Scooby snack? Hi. You're big boy. You're not as evil as everybody says. No. All these zookeepers keep saying we're, he, we're gonna die. We're males. That's why. So, don't they fight other males? I mean, yeah, but. He just don't try to breed you, but he'll still yeah. fight. He'll still fight you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm either, glad he doesn't try to breed us, at least. Way. But look at this. Uh, you guys can see. I know it's dark. You can tell. But we got the barn ready. He should be able to fit. We may have to entice him with some grain and get him in there. I want to see, make sure. I mean, he will fit. I know. Because these, yeah. we actually built this taller than the other barn. What did we put that at? Seven, six, I think. And this is plenty for him. Now, you see there's rock. So we'll have to come out and throw some hay. He, he don't need it tonight. It's like 55 degrees outside. But. This is just, this is Ralph's size. He can come in here, he should be able to spin around and lay right down. Yeah. And I think we should be all right. So let's yeah. go see what he thinks. Come on, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, just looking out for you here. Just kick it clean over. The the all right, just let him do, okay. Hey, 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 hey. All right, we might just get out of the pen for right here. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh, oh. Get, get up, get up. <laughs> Why am I in here? Alright. Hey, okay. Hey, buddy. hey you want some gray? Hey, you want some gray? Go, 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 go. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna. Okay, yeah, I think the zookeepers are right, bro. <laughs> I ain't never seen him do one of them. He was like, he got close. He was to going me. like at us. Buddy, I thought we were friends. He's never chate. He'll do that in place, but he's never uh, like actively yeah. ran. I thought we were dead for sure. I felt like a bull with a bunch of clowns where we all had to be like, okay, <laughs> I was okay. like 20 feet out of the fence and I was still running just to make sure. I feel like like Joe Exotic who's got like lions and you're like, dude, they're fine. And the next thing you know, you're dead. Don't you put know? your hand in there. Well, I say we come back in the morning. He, he, I will say he gets weird at night always. Yeah. He's always remember the one time he kicked yep. me? At, he only kicked me one time yeah. at night. He gets goofy at night. So I say, We've harassed him enough for today. We'll see you guys in the morning. Shoo! All right, so next day, Ralphie. How you doing, buddy? Well, we got Ralph some treats. Maybe he... Don't kill me, please. We got him some treats to convince us, or convince him not to kill us. We got some nay nibblers, which are crunchy apple and oat. Ralph's a horse, though. Oh, three pounds. I thought that's a 31. I said that ain't 31 pounds. Ralph, this is my peace offering, all right? God. Like an apple? <clears throat> Not really. Like a real bad apple. <laughs> you want an A nibbler? What do you think about that strat? 
I got Scooby Snacks too if you don't like Apple. Are you a big Apple guy? Why are they so hard? You want that or you want Scooby Snacks? Should I, should I get both and make him pick? I gotta, I gotta make sure he likes what I'm offering so he don't kill me. Oh. Oh, that was a good one. You want another one? What's that? Oh, oh. you like the nay nibblers, huh? How's it going, buddy? Can I come in there? You gonna hurt me? I should have put like a motorcycle helmet on or something. Could you imagine if he knocks you on the ground and just puts, like he would probably crush you like. Oh yeah. Like you ever seen those elephants like cr or like a, a hippo crush like a watermelon? Yeah. I feel that's, how about I give you one and then I sneak in? Don't hurt me. I got nay nibblers. Here, you wanna come in your barn? Did you go in there? Did you sleep in there last night? Here, you want this? Here, fetch. No, no, Ralphie. Come here. here, you want this? Fetch. Ralph, is he blind? Does he have good eyesight? You want this? Fetch. I don't know how I feel, but like he would just, it's like getting in the octagon. Yeah. Like he would just well, beat my ass. Over. I'd be climbing up there like a freaking monkey trying to hang up on the ceiling from him. Now, go get the other ones. You see those? They're big and, is he colorblind, you think? Hey, easy. Hey. What's he doing? Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, there he comes. He got it. What's that guy have to say? Oh, you knocked it over. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm getting out. <laughs> All right. Oh, he fits pretty he good, fits. though. Good boy, Ralphie. Guy's a big boy. Yeah, you fit. That's good. I'm happy. And it looked like he, I mean, he had, he was able to go in there and turn around. Yeah. As long as he got enough room for that. As long as you got nay nibblers on deck, I don't think he'll kill you. <laughs> Look at them lips though. Oh my goodness. What'd that mouth do, buddy? Good boy. You be nice. We'll cut your nuts off in March, all right? How's that sound? Well, Ralph's not a serial killer. As long as you got apple flavored nuggets, you'll be all right. And they're all right, buddy. We're friends. Just don't try to fight me or mount me and we'll get along just fine. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed Beefcake Construction LLC, taking on the camel hut, I think he likes it. I mean, we obviously need to get some hay in there. I mean, it's not cold. Like I said, it's pretty, pretty mild temps. We really just got to worry about, you know, keeping, giving him shelter once the, uh, once the snow starts to fly and stuff like that. But I think this thing will be pretty much windproof, pretty much waterproof, pretty much snowproof. We'll get some hay in there. And Ralph will live in, in his little palace over here by himself until, until March, until we cut them nuts off, give you the old Jerry treatment. And then hopefully we can release him to everybody else and he doesn't try to kill him. So anyway, so if you guys enjoyed BK Construction LLC taking on the Camel Hut, comment down below what else we should add down here i feel like it's pretty good the animals both have two huts now so they got plenty of space and uh ralphie's got his own little space and there's really not much we can do about him hey hey you can't eat the whole thing he i will say he likes these though we just gotta keep 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 these on tap and ralphie will be happy hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video we'll catch you on the next one and peace god he is housing these suckers get the <laughs> out of here